Example number one, negative one-fourth divided by one-third. There are five steps in order to solve this problem. Step one is to determine if the solution will be negative or positive. And we can use the phrase, same signs positive, different signs negative, to help us do this. If we look at the numbers, we can see that the first fraction is negative, but the second fraction is positive, which means they have different signs. So we will use the phrase, different signs negative, to determine that the solution will be negative. Step two, change and flip, or mathematically speaking, multiply by the reciprocal. So what we have to do is change the division sign to a multiplication sign and change the last fraction to its reciprocal, which means switching the numerator and denominator. So one third becomes three over one. Step three, multiply the numerators. One times three is equal to three. Step four, multiply the denominators. Four times one is equal to four. And finally, step five, simplify if possible. Three-fourths is the final simplified answer, so we can't simplify anymore. So the final answer will be negative three-fourths. Example number two. Step one, determine if the solution will be negative or positive. If we look at the numbers, we can see that both numbers are negative, which means they have the same signs. So we will use same signs positive to determine that the solution will be positive. So what we can do is actually get rid of both these negative signs right away. Step two, convert the mixed fractions to improper fractions. Let's start with that first mixed fraction, one and one third. We can convert this to an improper fraction by multiplying the whole number by the denominator, and one times three is equal to three, and then adding the numerator to that number. So three plus one is equal to four. So one and one third can be converted to the improper fraction, four thirds. Now let's do the same thing with the second mixed fraction. The first thing we have to do is multiply the whole number two by the denominator five. And two times five is equal to 10. Then we wanna add that numerator. 10 plus two is equal to 12. So two and two fifths can become the improper fraction, 12 over five. Step three, change and flip or multiply by the reciprocal. How we do this is we change the division sign to a multiplication sign, and then take the reciprocal of the last fraction. So the reciprocal of 12 over five would be five over 12. This moves us on to step number four, multiply the numerators. And four times five is equal to 20. Step five, multiply the denominators. Three times 12 is equal to 36. And finally, step five, simplify if possible. In order to determine what we can simplify by, we wanna write down the factors of both 20 and 36. When we write down these factors, we can determine that the greatest common factor is going to be four. So I can divide both the 20 and the 36 by four. 20 divided by four is five, and 36 divided by four is nine. So 20 over 36 can be simplified down to five over nine. So the final answer will be five ninths. All right, so now it's time for you to try. Divide the fractions. The solution should be in simplest form. I would recommend you pause the video now, solve, and then resume when you're ready to see if your solutions are correct. Okay, let's take a look. The answer to number one is negative three eighths. And the answer to number two is one and seven fifteenths. If you had either of these incorrect, I would recommend you pause the video now and see if you can find your mistake. Thank you for watching.